Hey guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to click on my little thumbnail and give this video a watch. So in today's video, I am setting up the month of April. Yes. Wait, where did it go? Yes, April. I don't, in my, so I'm doing things and working in May, so I almost said May. And I'm like, wait a minute, we haven't even gotten through Easter yet. So let's slow down and let's actually get through to April. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna set up April. And I already see something that I forgot, so I need to find it. There it is. Okay, I forgot my little monthly tabs. So last week I was complaining about how I was getting sick. Well, I got really sick and it like hung out with me for a whole week. Like I was down for a count. And so I'm still uh, really, I'm still congest congested. I, um, feel better. I have my energy back, but I I uh, get into these like coughing fits. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> so I will do my best to not cough. If I do, like I'll, I'll edit it out because nobody needs to hear that kind of stuff on so let me see what I did last month with uh, so as you can see uh, the February review went very well um, I would like to okay I had a little cough I had to get out and then I realized it got really dark because we've got a good storm rolling through so it got it got really dark and so I bumped up my lights and opened up um like pulled up the blinds not like they're open but I just pulled them up so there'd be completely letting in all that good stuff. <clears throat> okay, so it seems like I had like a February review gave myself a whole two pages. Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave that and tape down. I feel like I'm leaving way too much. I by the way, I love that um, April, right? Yeah, April starts on a Monday. It makes like just the change over on the month. It's just spot on. Some other things I want to talk about too is... Um, my wonderful goals that I had set and fell off of just completely fell off of the bandwagon of the goals. I don't know how you guys are doing out there and you know, let me know how uh, goal life has been treating you. Um, so, oh, that's a tight fit. Ah. Um, <clears throat> probably should have did this a little bit better. Uh, that'll do, donkey. Probably crooked as all, but it's fine. And then I have, these are part of my April. So I thought I would slap one of these down like that. And so, oh, and then, throw in the getting sick and I know it was only for a week but you know I'm dragging into two weeks here 
um, but it was a week of actually being down. It was difficult to just do um, <clears throat> just to put dinner on the table for everybody. So, um, but it got, there we go. So I wrote down my goals on a, I pulled out my goal notebook here. Um, and I have been reading, um, Ali Abdal's book, um, Feel Good Pro Productivity. Great book, by the way. Great book. Um, it's, how can I explain it? He it, it gives some really good science-based information on productivity, but not just, um, oh, you, this is how you be productive, but how to continue to be productivity, to be, how to continue to be productive. Um, so one of them was, <clears throat> like, if there was, he would make his, um, like, the task that he was doing at hand, he would find a way to make it fun. So then he would put on the soundtrack to The Lord of the Rings. And, by the way, that is a great soundtrack. Um, there are a lot of um, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, um, those types of little... Uh, like examples and quotes and stuff like that. So if you're, um, I guess you don't even really, I don't know. I like that stuff. So it, it really like, I get it and it resonates with me. But when he would put on the soundtrack to the Lord of the Rings and so that just kind of, I don't know what it was, but when, so I decorate my planner as a way to make my planning fun my the you know finding fun in the ma the mundane of planning out my future or planning out my day so i can look in here and go oh look i get to clean the toilet yay but at least it's like a, oh i get to clean the toilet look how beautiful this film is and these stickers and it's all you know that's just something that I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of doing that with my planning now, as in, you know, we use the pretty books in order to make our goal, to do our goals in, so it keeps us coming back. We do <clears throat> pretty habit trackers, so it keeps us coming back. Uh, things like that to um, help us keep coming back, to get our our planning done and to get our, you know, to check off and also checking off the list in general is nice as well. So it was just, just a good book in general to read. And I've been trying off completely off topic. I've been trying to work my way through the old uh, washies that I got and stuff like that because like they, if you don't use it, it's going to just kind of fall away because I have some of it in my, um, in my work planner and the sides are just flipping up. I used some, these, this is some of the old stuff, but it's, um, holding up a lot better than the stuff I used. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to have to go through my whole platter just to find it. I need to do a flip through for you guys too. This stuff. It's, you know, I tried putting some, I've already tried putting some tape down, some of this stuff down. Which helps, don't get me wrong. <coughs> but if you don't use it, it's just going to fall apart. Okay, so this is my cleaning schedule here. Yes, cleaning. But what do I want to do? What color do I want to use? I've got all my markers over here off the side trying to figure out life on what kind, what colors I want to use. I think I'll use uh, green. Okay. 
and then real quick throw down some lines and then we can go back to um, so like today I have been doing a bunch of catching up I made um, I call them treat bars and the reason why I call them treat bars is because there's a little bit of chocolate on <clears throat> sorry I do like a little chocolate layer, a very, very thin chocolate layer on top. And it's more to um, mask, not to, I guess not to mask, but to motivate my eight-year-old picky eater. I can't get her to eat anything that I cook. She likes mac and cheese, dinos, Mac and cheese, dinos, and pizza. So I buy like the cheese pizza from Costco or the DiGiorno pizzas from like Target or Walmart or something like that. <coughs> Sorry. So I get that stuff. But my other kid, she eats anything that I put in front of her. I'm a little worried if I put this down that it's not going to fit. She eats anything I put in front of her. You see how well the goals went for um, and I for March. <coughs> I probably should have saw that as a sign. Like this is how March is gonna go for you. Oh, see, like I went all the way down to the bottom. So I'll leave. I'll leave this over here. Um. So I make these treat bars. They are dates, organic dates. Um, I used to be able to buy the bag at Costco and then they, like Costco stopped selling them. So <clears throat> Costco also stopped selling their, their Kirkland nut butter. That stuff was great. Anyways, it's dates, nut butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla. The sugar from the dates is what makes it sweet. Um, yeah, so it's dates, oats. So I grind up the oats just a little bit. They're the um, whole oats. They're not instant oats. They're, you know, they're the legit crunchy ones. Um, so the dates, the oats, nut butter, and um, a little bit of salt and some vanilla. She eats those things up like nobody's business. And I'm just, that makes me so happy, too, like when she, that she does it. <coughs> it, uh, not really filling the purple. Let's go with, let's go with one of these colors here. I guess either one of these actually would look really good. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Not that thick one. Goals. A little more orange than I originally thought. Anywho, so I usually make a huge cookie sheet, like, what is it, like 9 by 12? cookie sheet of them and I put them in everybody eats them and I put them in her lunch and I <coughs> sorry I put them in her lunch and she eats them my other one eats them they ever my husband eats them everybody just loves them so um, she also eats a ton of fruit too so don't get me wrong it's not like she's not eating um, any fruit or anything she just does not eat she doesn't eat any vegetables, like no corn, no peas, no green beans, no broccoli. She doesn't eat any of that. She used to eat all of that stuff. She used to eat the spaghetti squash, the butternut squash, the zucchinis. She used to eat all of that and then something happened and she just stopped eating all of that. So anywho, I try to sneak things in. So like if I make, pe if I make um, chocolate chip cookies, I'm throwing in like 
ground up flax seeds and chia seeds into the cookies. You can't taste them. And you can't even do the, t uh, like feel any difference in the texture because I grind it up so finely. It's, it, you know, it's, it's like powder. It's like flour. And so I just emit some of the flour so that the cookie stays nice and chewy and yummy. So I just try and sneak some good stuff into her um, meals. Um, and this is one way that I've I figured out, enough, you know, the, the treat bars is one way I figured out how to sneak some more good stuff into her diet. So today I've been playing catch up with that, um, getting that stuff. Let's see here. Health. So I got my little list here. And I went through my book here, my goals, and I just kind of went through what I had in here for the first quarter. I need to start working on uh, second quarter. And yeah, so I, that's what I did. And I'm going to put these down. Some of these are very similar to what I had in, um, February, I did not do very good on, actually I did terrible with the um, getting up at four and um, working out at 5.30. So what I did is I bumped it up until like later in the, af not afternoon, but later in the morning, like 10, that seemed to have worked out better. I was still doing pretty good about hitting 7K steps. I, we did, the girls and I did do a mommy-daughter time, but there was no, uh, we didn't do any dates. My husband and I didn't do a date at all in February. In March, though, we've been, we did really good at hanging out uh, together. Yeah, and you guys know how this one goes. I'm terrible at that one. Horrible. Um, I still have not finished my daughter's scarf. Um, uh, I would go off and on on this because I was listening to um, the Feel Good Productivity and I was listening to a book for dyslexia. I have to figure out what the name of that one is. Um, and I did not, <clears throat> I did not schedule days off. I did not clean out the white drawers, but for February, I believe that I, but for February, I did clean out my office closet and I cleaned up my yarn. So uh, I see that as a win, even though I didn't finish that. So like if I go into, let me see here, let me find the page. So I have a list of things that I want to do. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, for the home, yeah, home. Uh, clean out the office closet, paint master bed, bathroom, paint the hall bathroom, have a garden, but I'm scratching that because actually we might move. So I scratched that. Clean out the hall closet, which I did. I got all of the um, puzzles and uh, family board games we got I got that all organized and that looks great um, I need to make a family photo book go through the white drawers which those white drawers are over here to the right of me potty train my daughter which I am currently doing and she is doing so so good and then get her off her binky which I did that at the very beginning of the year and then clean up my yarn so I have <clears throat> just these tasks so for my home, I want to go through the white drawers that I have. So that'll be the goal for the home. Um, oh, and, and then part of a tip from, this was in um, the Feel Good Productivity book, but it was also in, um, I believe it was in Atomic Habits as well. If you want to get something done, 
um, like if you wanted to learn how to play the guitar, or in my case, I want to read 15 minutes a day. But unfortunately, like some of the books that I read are on my phone. And when I pick up my phone, sometimes I don't just go to the audio app. I go, oh, look, there's Facebook. Let's go flip through, you know, let's waste 30 minutes. Instead of reading a book for 30 minutes, let's waste 30 minutes on the stupid thing. So instead, I put out my book. I put out my book. And so the audio books are great. So like if I'm washing dishes or something or putting away clothes. But I put out my book, the other book that I want to finish reading, on my desk so that I now see it. So if you want to learn how to play the guitar, you got to put it, but you always seem to forget to, you know, play, learn how to play the guitar. You got to put that guitar or that book right in front of your face so that you see it. And then you go, oh yeah, I need to read. I need to play that guitar. And so far, this is only day three of holding it, putting it out on my desk. So far it's worked out great. Um, I have been reading actually more than just 20 minutes because the book is so good. It's, and then I'm like, I gotta put this thing down. I'm gonna not get this done. I won't get my work done if I keep reading. So I wanna hit 6K steps. I wanna actually up this into seven because, but I don't know, start. Ah, uh, work out. I don't want to say start working out. Ugh, whatever. Put clothes out. I need to put my clothes out. That's what I need to do. Put my clothes out and schedule my workouts. Where did I put my white out? Is it in front of my face and I'm not seeing it? Oh, no. Okay. Then I'm just going to leave that. Schedule workouts, weekly workouts. And then set, oops. Set out, close. Okay. Uh, relationships. Um, I need to do, we need a, Daddy and daughters need daddy-daughter days. He, I mean, even if <clears throat> it's not able to get out, they still play cards or board games and stuff around the house. But I want, it would be fun like if they were able to uh, get out and do something. And then uh, Steve time. Don't lift up. Okay, money. Yeah, we know how that goes. Money. I need to budget. Budget. I'm good about budgeting the work stuff and then I get off with the home stuff. And I know that's bad. It should that shouldn't be how it goes. Personal. I will read. Oops. I just put 15 minutes. Read for 15 minutes. And to schedule it. So I have been doing pretty good with this time blocking and that's another, like before I got sick, I was getting really good at maintaining the workouts because I was putting it into my time blocking. So I would look at my day and I'm like, okay, it's 10 o'clock. And I mean, so it's 9.30, I see that it's 9.30, so I need to go get my um, like my clothes on and then we'll just go we have an assault bike so I'll go jump on the assault bike or uh, and or lift you know jump on the assault bike lift some weights and um, not and or I'll do a workout video so whatever I have scheduled in my Hovenichi and then 
finish. Literally, there, don't die on me. Literally, there's only the ends to the scarf to weave in. Finish graces. But that is like the most, it's not, it's my very least favorite part of the crocheting. So I don't, so I keep putting it off kind of thing. I don't know if I want to add another personal, so I'll just leave that open home. Go through. Okay. I don't know if I want to add any more, so I'm going to leave three more spaces open and then spiritual. Um, I want to keep doing my daily devotions. I fell off on reading my Bible, I fell way off just because I just didn't have the energy for it. So I would do, I'd get up and do my daily devotion, but I just didn't read the Bible. So I need to finish reading it, which I made a new, like if you look at my tracker here, I made a new tracker. See, that's as far as I got. I did read seven today. So the plan is to just to get through these two chapters and then start on Monday on the 1st um, after Easter because it'll be a busy Easter. You know how it goes. Family, uh, family and all that stuff. So I did a new one. Uh, so I got Judge. Oh, oh, I did not spell Judge right. Where was I? Judges, not judge. Judges, there we go. That's better. Glad that I caught that. Um, so I want to finish reading Judges. And I have a mom's meeting with the church, so I'll go to that mom's meeting. And there we go. Let's see here. I'm kind of feeling this one or this one. Just as a highlight. Let's go for it. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. go. So, and then I have my habit track. So my camera cut off at some point and I'm not really sure, but by the time I looked up at it, I saw that I was at where, that I was talking about the habit trackers and going through that. So as you guys can see, I did pretty, I get good at vitamins, did good at the 6k steps sort of there was a um a week in there wow like one two three four that might have been the day or no because we're over here and this is when i was sick i don't know what happened there working out really sucked i got daily devotions in as you see i did not read where's my pencil uh Read for 15 minutes. What's today? Pace of 26. So I did read today. And I read yesterday. And I read the other day. Okay. Journaling sucked, but I have journaled recently. I know I journaled yesterday. We'll just go with that. Yesterday, water. I'm, I need to just up that to three. Budget, we know that sucks and I haven't crocheted. So that's how that goes. And I'm going to tip both of these in right here because I really like the, uh, 
I really like how the layering is. <clears throat> so what I do is I do this one first and then I lay this one with the tape and stuff. It's getting pretty difficult to tip things in just because of the, if you look, this, this the hump of everything that I've got going on versus, so I really gotta like push the spine down, which so far, I'm impressed. It's been holding up pretty well. But I did bend one of these, like I broke it, trying to tip in something with, yeah, trying to tip in one of my vellums, trying to get it into that spine so the pages lay right. Because if you don't get it deep into that spine, then the pages don't lay right. That's good. It's kind of crooked, but it'll hold up. Kind of think I should put some tape on that side, but this has been holding up over here just fine. So this side has been just fine with just the one tape. Definitely wanted to get these goals down because I didn't write any of the goals down, and even though I have my habit tracker, I um, I just fell off the bandwagon. And so this will be the start, I believe, will be the start of my week. Let's see how I have it set up here. Yeah, so this will be the start of, and I will use these. I'll just lay down some lines real quickly. Since I got you here. And put this in. Where did I put it? Right in front of my face. Hopefully that's in. Yeah, I didn't get it quite in there because I got a little overhang, but it's okay. So I will do, I'll finish setting up my week. Uh, not on camera because this is just for the monthly setup that I want to do, go over goals and you know kind of check in with you guys see how you guys are doing as well not just um not just me but you guys too how your goals are going and how uh, are you looking forward to april and all that stuff so i'm hoping that april will go a little bit better than March did as far as goals and stuff like that but I mean I get it and it's not a big deal I mean we fall off the bandwagon and there's nothing wrong with that you know we're not we're not perfect we're just humans so I will set up my cleaning it's going to be it's just this regular list that I put in and then I check off the things uh, as they get done. I want to, what did I want to do before I finished? Oh, I need to add one of these. What page do I add this on? My weekly review? Okay, so this page right here. 
Oh, this is going to be fun trying to get that to line up. Come on, roll with me. Okay, I think we got it. Come on, go on straight. Don't go be crooked. There we go. Perfect. All right, so here's uh, my little monthly setup. I still need to set up my Hobonichi as well. Probably do that in another filming. But here is April with my soon to be cleaning list and my Bible tracker, habit tracker. Got my goals all set. And then I will start the planning out the rest of my week. So I that's the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. As always, stay healthy and stay safe. Bye, you guys.